Hold. All right, we're back. The first thing is to turn up is uh, turn exo uh, yeah turn off the pet cot. Make sure the ignition is off. Okay. Those are important things to do. Always. Pick off off. Spores are very easy to work on. Everybody's ready to fall off now. Well, the carburetor fell off already. Imagine that. <coughs> Petcock is on, not off. Okay. Explain that shit. Oh, well, Petcock's off now. <coughs> Petcock's off. I can tell. It doesn't appear to be a fuel leak right now. There you go. The rings. These things. Some aviator cops. Okay, what else? This thing? Now, motor bot's got to come off, yep. What does? Your head bolt removing tools. Man, I bought a five eighths. One breaker bar, one extended socket, and one short extension. Oh, this is a 900 motor, isn't it? Uh, would, would you please? Yep, this is a nine. Know? This is not a 12 point. It is a 916. What do you want? I'm borrowing five eighths wrench. You are. Please. Do I have one? Now I got two. Did I give you the one? No, you didn't. Can I give you a level six piece? Yes. Well, I, I got the five A's. You said you wanted the five A's. Yeah, I was asking for your permission to borrow it. Oh, you stole it already. Well, you knew about look it. That, look at that clearance on it. What kind of bolts you got in here? Huh? These are literally loose. Maybe it's just loose then. Those are those are like worn out 916 heads. Was it chromed at one time or something? I've never gone this far before with, with her. We're taking it all the way tonight. We're taking her all the way tonight. Yeah, really excited. Do we charge extra for going all the way? Well, hell. Huh. That's what I've been saving my money for. That sounds like I'm going to get uh, suspended if we keep talking. Okay, you didn't tell me there was a bottom nut too. Uh, well, if you put it together correctly, there would be a bottom nut. Looks to me like you have inferior installation of that. Yeah. I, I gotta get a picture of that. That, that looks pretty nice. Get your wrenches out. <laughs> this now. looks dumb. So, <laughs> what is that? There's not even a washer on it. You have a nut here Tough. that's going through the slot of the motor mount, and you've got a bolt up here. So I'm not sure what this is doing except just kind of laying together. Fuck Chuck. So that is that is some customization going on there. I would use a wrench on that, not that. I'm gonna find a sock. That's well, pretty I can't custom. Tell what size it is because What it's... year was this put together, sir? Oh. This is pretty fab this is pretty custom stuff. Man. That's a good question. Oh look, it's all loose too. You can't find stuff like this in Kmart, you know. This is, this is professionally done. Yeah, this is quality man. Yes, we are. Going for it all the way. Okay, that is not loose. Not a 
valves are loose. Makes it a lot easier. But this is retarded shit, and I really don't want to drop that nut into the intake manifold. Why? Because no, I don't. It doesn't make, make, make any difference. Um, it's funny that I just said that and I think I dropped something in there. It's alright. Okay. Doesn't matter. Oh, these were chrome plated at once. See, that's why I knew they were loose. See, they have lots of clearance and bolt in the socket here. See, see how loose those are? That's why you don't chrome your hardware. They screw it up for you. Well, this genius. Now, that's not chrome, that's rust. What genius put that together, you said? Oh, why are we getting gas all over there? Because you got a pet cock right there? Oh. That'd be my guess. See that thing you got jammed in there right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get that out of there. Or you know, You had something that nice on the bike, actually. <laughs> Come on, you know. It was nice at one time. Maybe in 1964 yeah. when it came up one. This is a 1964 Sportster. That's the Evil Knievel year, man. Evil Knievel rode 1964. Uh, I have no idea. I wasn't around back then. I'm pretty sure someone else would all know. See that big chips and stuff in here? That's not good for the intake system. Do you like all that rust down there? Why'd you clean the rust off so you can't see the rust? See, it has a bunch of chips and stuff all through the intake. That makes intake leaks. How does that and happen? So you got all this rust in here. That means there's water in there at one time. Well, it sit for 10 years. At least it's not inside the motor. See, there appears to be a valve in there with oil on it. How about this one? I can't see the camera. Can you see that? Yeah, I don't know if there's oil on it, but I can see a valve. There's a valve. Looks like it might go up and down and everything. Yeah, yeah. No big hole in it or anything? Um, there seems to be a little hole on the side of it. Oh, good. There's a hole on the side of the valve. It, it looks Perfect. like it might be for an Allen wrench or something. Right? Oh, they might have an Allen wrench in there, you said? Yeah. That would be custom. You want to see it? No, not really. I'll see it in a minute when we get the head on. Is it this one? Yeah, you could if you wanted to. It's up to you. It's optional. Yes, it's 7 six volts. Yeah. Damn, I'm wrong again. Just tap in. What you're going to have to do is go on the other side and take that motor mount out. What is it? How come everything is half inch or 7 sixteenths? Yeah, it's actually half inch at 9 sixteenths so on most everything on a Harley. Okay, you want this motor mount off, right? Yeah, it'll be on the other side. Now, those will be uh, 5 eighths over there. Okay. Because it's a 7 sixteenths bolt. Okay, I'm still going to borrow your 5 eighths box. Stealing my tools again? I'm letting you know. I'm borrowing this one. Just make sure they want it back in my bucket and not your bucket when you're done. All right. So you got two late rocker shelves here, and you got early ones here. <laughs> you got late rocker boxes on it. Look, I have I have an extra set of rocker boxes. You took off those nice early ones that people look like nowadays. See, everybody used to take those early ones off to make them look like this, and now they want to go early to be like a shovel head. Washer for this one. Where did it go? Over here. It's hard to get to, but there it is. Washer. Oh, sorry. Was I moving that? No, you're not. Oh, not there you go. You can have that. Wow. 
That was quick, dude. It's a piston in the way. Don't drop it on the floor, though. Huh? Good thing you didn't take the oil line out of it in the way. Are you done over there? Are you done? No, no, I'm still taking this uh, oh, okay. engine motor. Put the, I'll put the motor back together there, sir. Huh? I'll put the motor right back together. Okay. We got back together, and, you know, pretty quick, too, if you want. Why is this thing so damn fucking long? I don't know. I didn't put it together. You didn't take this oil line off yet, either. I just took the top part off. I don't think you took it off. I just pulled it off. Oh. Well, it loosened it a bit. You did loosen it? Okay. Pulled my half inch in there, see? Uh, no. Just five minutes. I got my own, at least. Um. Can you and I have any black high temperature spray paint around with you? Black high temperature spray paint. That depends on what you can qualify as high temperature. Well, something that work on these heads or rocker boxes or valves. Valves. Paint real quick. You're gonna paint some valves? Rust off. No. What are these things called, man? With the fins. Thing with the fins? Yeah. There's things called cylinders over there. Huh? Things called cylinders. Cylinders, huh? It's also called heads. Rusty ass cylinders. Rusty ass cylinders. That's called patinaed. Patinaed. Yeah. Are you done with that head? It's ready to fall off. You can catch it. You can take it off anytime you want, sir. Oh, that is fucking cool, man. How's it look? Fucking bitching. It's your baby over there. Look at that. I fucking at, love it. Look at that. He's got a head now in his hand. Fucking man now. Big boy. I like that. So put up the light. Can you see through the valves of light? See through the valves. Look up to the light. Can you see light through the valves? Nope. You have to hold the hose ahead up to the light. You're looking through the port out. Okay. If you can see light past the port, then you got leakage. If you can't see no light, then it's good. No, I don't see no light. Okay, that's probably good then. It's all darkness in here, man. Darkness. Darkness is good unless you're in the dark. I still don't know how these things work. Will you teach me wise one? So what about that missing valve piece right over there? The piston's got a hole in it. I'm sorry. Okay. It looks like there's a hole in that piston over there. Over right here? No, over the front. Here you go. Pull off the uh, two bolts on the bottom, two nuts. Okay. Well, this is what these wrenches are for. Oh, that hole right there. See? I see something looks like it's broken over here. You see the shrapnel marks on the side of the piston from the material that's been bouncing around inside the motor? That came from right over there, where he broke the top ring off. That's a ring? And maybe the second ring below it. Fuck, man. I think that might be the problem. You know, I've never even actually had this fucking mic running. Scooby. Scooby's not happy. Scooby. You all right? Come on, come on. What's going on, Scooby? Yeah, you okay, Scooby? Scooby's okay. Yeah. Scooby is not happy at all. I don't know why you're picking him. You had that loud motorcycle going, oh, pissing man. him off. You're banging out your pipes. No way, dude. You were farting like crazy. Scooby was the one intimidating me. That's right. Oh, I saw you run through the shop and he popped out. I don't know if he's going to attack. He was going to attack. He's going to eat you. He doesn't even know who I am. I'm running to the shop. He was hungry. Yeah, that's right. That's a good boy. That's a wild animal right there. That is a vicious varmint. Yeah. Vicious, vicious animal. Come here, Scooby. Scooby's down here having fun, see? Come on. Let's go. Get up. Come on, get up. There you go. Come on, give me your other paw. There we go. Oh, Scooby don't want to get up. You know, this engine looks a lot smaller from Scooby here. Scooby don't want to get up now. What are you doing down there? Scooby's butt don't work no more. Yeah, that's right. Scooby don't want to leave down here, see? He's happy. Right there where he's nice and comfortable. Keep my leg warm. You done over there yet? What is the problem over there? Just undo it with your fingers. Well, it's all stuck. It's stuck? How could it be stuck? It's on your bike. Alright, I'm almost there. Almost there. 
famous last words. Yeah, that's right. Got her. Got her. Oh, it's loose already, too. All right, pull it up slowly. That's supposed to be catching shit when it falls or something? Yeah, a little bit higher, yes. Okay, slow, slow, stop, 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 stop. Put your shrapnel guard underneath here. Good call, there might, man. There might be some shrapnel up here. Pretty sure it's going to be some. Okay, that's all I can do from here. I can't see shit. Pull her up. There you go. There's the problem right there. Nothing came off. So, you appear to have some scarring going on. Appears to be a big detonation hole in the, in the piston right there. You got daylight going through it. Wow, dude. The rings are completely locked up. Are they supposed to move around? The rod is junk. What do you mean, the piston rod? Yes, the rod is extremely loose. This motor is not in good condition. It seems like there's a lack of oil in everything. Is there any oil pumping in this motor? Pretty sure there was, because today when I took the... Do you see any oil on this piston? No. I'm assuming there's no oil on this motor. Or it's not pumping. It's got oil in the tank, but it doesn't look like it's actually pumping oil. Things seem to be a little dry. We have absolutely no oil in this piston. I know it was running. See how dry it is? There's nothing on this piston. This rod appears to be slightly loose. Okay. That's very loose. This is like my race bike clearances. I can't feel me up and down, but that it has to be really, really bad to be up and down. So that is not in good condition. So what happened to the oil system on this bike? Well, I wouldn't know. I, I mean, I pulled the dipstick off today. There is some oil over here, which is a good sign, but there's nothing. That piston's dry. Okay. This is getting more and more depressing as we go forward. So the, uh, I think it's time to just go ahead and pull the rear one off while we're at it. See, so, you now we're already halfway there already okay. and let's see if we continue the same scenario on the back cylinder my guess is it's not going to have a hole in the back because it actually has compression in the back right. but had that. I'm pretty sure that the lack of compression on the front cylinder would be the hole in it I don't know how you would get a vacuum with all them holes going through it but I also don't know why there's no oil on it yeah. we do have some oil on the flywheel so there was oil at once. Uh, appears to have oil down there on the connecting rod bearings. But we sure don't have anything on the piston. So that's not the correct nut. All right. Now getting the back head off is a little bit harder because there's a frame in the way. And that zip tie is sharp, I just poked my finger on. Oh, you pulled the coil apart. Right, let's get it out of the way. So does it actually come out without having to move the engine? Or the what comes out? The rod? No, the, the back piston. I mean the back. The head? Yes, you can get it off. Okay. Since you don't have a lot of clearance to get any tools in here, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. There's a couple tricks, but it's still a pain in the butt. We'll be getting a little more calm down over here right now. All right, we'll be back.